Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and this video I'm going to show you how to do a cool sparkle effect on an actor. Um, just to kind of spice up your games a little bit, uh, make it less two-dimensional. Um, so I have my little letters here, you know, I hit preview and they're just letters, that's it. Um, but let's bring some life to them. Um, let's go into the actor and um, we're going to go ahead and go into behaviors and we're going to set up a particle effect. Now, um, let's see here, particles. Now I have an image in my, in my uh, project here called Sparkles 2. Um, I don't even know where I got this image. It was from a project uh, probably about two years ago I found uh, uh, someone uploaded as a demo for everybody to share so I can't credit the person who made the sparkle but I've been using it ever since I love it um, you can download um, this project over at gshelper.com underneath the video and um, you can extract the part of the, the sparkle just uh, drag it to your desktop and boom you got it um, okay, so it, if you don't have one yourself, use this one. It's great. Uh, the guy who uploaded it, it was a demo for everybody to use, so you're good to go. Um, so what we're going to want to do is um, set up our particles. And the first setting, I like a lot of sparkles, so I'm going to go 40. Um, for startup time, let's go 0 0.2. We don't want it to take too long. Uh, and lifetime, 0 0.4. We don't want it to last forever. Um, for velocity... Um, this is where the math comes in. Um, so we have our offset emitter. And so basically zero is the center of the G. So if you just want the sparkles to start here and shoot out, I mean, it's fine. But I wanted to give a more random effect so it looks like it's starting to sparkle from everywhere. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to first go back and we're going to see the size of our image. Um, so it's 56 pixels. So we're going to go back in here. And I'm going to go into here, and so if it starts at the center, and this is my offset um, for X, so that's left and right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do random, R-A-N-D-O-M, open bracket, and if it's 56, so half of 56 is 28. So we're going to go minus 28, comma, 28, close bracket. So basically it's saying to pick a random spot from the start, to the end of the width of this image. And I'm just going to hit um, select that and press copy because this is a square image. So I'm going to do the same for the up and down. Uh, oh, I have to open this to do it. So select it, copy and paste it in the other one. So basically, I've told it to pick any spot within the boundaries of this actor to um, spawn the particle. Now, for. see here for direction we want it to be more random um, so we're gonna go open bracket open bracket and um, to get a true random number we need a number that's constantly changing so we're gonna use self uh, time because that's constantly changing from the second the scene starts till it ends it's constantly changing in the time so we're going to use that, and then just to give it an even bigger number, we're going to go times 1700, just for fun. That could be 1500, doesn't really matter. Um, then we're going to go close bracket, and because um, this is rotation, which is a circle, we want uh, 360 degrees, so we're going to go percent 360, and then we're going to do a close bracket. And uh, what the percent 360 does is it basically only allows this number to be a number between 0 and 360. So if the number is 18 million, it just keeps going around and around and around in circles until it gets to the, the spot where it is in the 360 degrees. And then after that, what we're going to do is um, relative actor is fine, uh, affected by gravity is fine, and uh, for speed, we're probably going to want... Um, to mix it up a little bit. So let's go uh, random open bracket 100 comma 200. Um, so the speed will be random in between 100 and 200. Actually, let's go uh, 50 and 200. That should be good. Um, now for size. Um, again, I'm a big fan of random. So um, we're going to go in size and we're going to do 
random and instead of writing random you can just go in here and choose random if you want I just write it in it's quicker open bracket and let's go I don't know random 42 100 and then we're gonna go change size and do we want to go bigger or smaller um, let's have it go to a smaller number but uh, again random so we'll do random and what do we have here 40 and 100 so let's do 15 comma uh, 40 and for duration uh, let's go 0 0.4 since that's the lifetime of the the particle anyways uh, for color we're going to want to start it out at normal um, but we're going to go change to and we're going to tell it to change um, bring that over here change that to opacity zero so we're going to start it at um, full opacity and then go down to nothing and again the lifespan is uh, 0 0.4 so we're going to do 0 0.4 and um, I think that's it for color let's go into rotation rotation is really not a huge important thing for this one but we'll do it anyways um, it's pretty much the same as what we just did earlier um, it's going to be open bracket open bracket and then again self time times 1700 and close bracket percent 360 and then again uh, close bracket and we're gonna hit a plus 90 in here just to start it off and then um, I guess that angular velocity let's I don't know let's just start off at a hundred and then for image we're going to choose our sparkle and now we'll go ahead and press preview and now you can see our letters are now sparkling now if they're going too far out if you don't want it to be you know so big um, what we can do is for velocity for speed we can go 50 to 100 let's see that and there you go it's more compact it's more in there but as you can see they it, it's starting from every spot um, we're opposed to if you just did from the center and I'll show you that now so this is basically the end of the tutorial now we'll, I'll, I'll change it so you can see what it would just normally look like if you didn't add the offset um, so we'll take away the offset and take away the offset and hit preview and now you can see it just all starts from the center so the offset is much better let's go back in and uh, put that in there so you can see um, random and I guess it was minus 28 comma 28 and then I'll do that over here too put that back there we go and so you can see again much nicer it's going everywhere um, here let's do this just another example let's bring this over here a bit and I'll unlock it and take that out of this one preview so you can see the difference much nicer you know like that anyways um, head on over to gshelper.com download this file you can grab the sparkle play around with it and uh, I hope you guys had enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video